I got a mail from uh, in updates and I got a mail from Fire2 server. Okay, and they have given a model. This is the model and I can see here that confidence of the model is 100%. Okay, so it means that I can use this model for our research purpose. But we will see that how many home locks is used by that uh, server. So I will click on here. Uh, so for so for this normal mode, uh, the value, what is there any range for this value? Actually, uh, if the confidence score is high, so it means the modeling is good. Okay, so anything that is about 40-50%, yeah. we no, can... Not 40-50%, not actually greater than 90%. Okay, greater than 90 okay. At least greater than 90%. Okay, okay so here you can see that uh, I have clicked on Fire2 and then here you can see the thing. Like here, my confidence score is 100%. But in the Fire, it also use the fold recognition. So it does not use only one template. Like in the modeler also, we see we have seen that we have selected only one template and we did the model. Okay. So here it is using multiple templates and then it is aligning the structure and after that it is copying the coordinates. Okay. So if you if I want to see the alignment, so I will click on here. And here you can see the template resolution 1.8 at angstrom, and you can see the confidence percent identity also. And uh, uh, this is the uh, dimensions of the structure. And here you can see the structure alignment. So on the basis of structure alignment, on the basis of secondary structure also, you can analyze your structure. That okay, this this part is crystallized and this is part is not crystallized. And then you can select the model. That okay, it is giving the model. But for you, you have got the model, but the model uh, can be assessed by the stereochemical parameters. Okay. And after that, you can select the model that, okay, this model is good as compared to other models. So now for the structural assessment, one thing is the Ramachandran plot. You are aware about the Ramachandran plot. So I will just tell you that how you can generate the Ramachandran plot by using the online survey. Okay. So here one server is there pdb sum generate okay pdb sum generate and by using the pdb sum generate you can generate the ramachandra plot and you can analyze that plot that okay this is part is showing the uh, problematic residues these these are the problematic residues and then you can do the energy minimization and further process which we have already discussed in the previous session so here you have to go on generate like here i came and then I have to go on generate and in the generate, I have to click on PDB structure. Okay. So I will download, I will uh, upload this one TRX, which is predicted by TRX server. And then I will give the mail address. So they will send the Ramachandran plot result into our mail. Okay. They will take 10 or 15 minutes. Okay. So one more server is there. That is the Prosha. Prosha web server. You will see the paper. So you will see these type of servers. Okay. So Prosa will generate the energy plot also and B factors also. Okay. So now here, if I will upload the structure. Okay. So this is the Prosha, Prosha web server and it predicts the Z score as well as energy score. Okay. So here energy score is the more important parameter because by using the Prosa, you can get that. Okay. These residues have some problematic part in our structure okay so here if i will upload the trx and then i will click on analyze okay so this one is the score this one is the precise score and this one is minus 5.98 so this is showing that okay the structure belongs from the nmr region and the structure belongs from the X-ray. So what uh, what Prosa do? Prosa just aligns your structure against all the PDB structures that are available in the PDB, and then it gives that Z score. Okay, but uh, the energy plot is more beneficial as compared to here Z score. But you can give that figure also in the paper. So here you can see that this is the energy plot, and if the residues lies in the positive range, okay, like this graph is lies like that, that green, dark green line, okay. If that dark green line is lies in this, 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 this part, so it means that those residues have some problematic part. But here you can see that no any residues which are showing the greater, higher energy, okay. 
the higher energy in positive terms so it means ki we can it means we can say that okay we can select this structure okay so this one is the prosha and you can also see the b factor you can also generate b factor by using several tools like uh, blue color uh, represents the lowest energy and red color represents the highest energy so you can see here that you cannot find the highest red color okay the dark red color here okay only here in this region so you can find that okay these this type these residues have some problematic structure but the overall quality of the structure is good because we have seen that uh, jet spo is also low and the local model quality means uh, we can see the knowledge based energy is also very good but if you model some structure so which who don't have identity like this structure has 64% identity and uh, it has one point it ha uh, this template has 1.8 and 1.7 is standard resolution so that's why it is showing the good parameter okay but what if the energy line is showing in positive so we can minimize the structure we can do the molecular dynamic simulation and we can do the further analysis okay one more server is there and uh, uh, that is the irat server and that is a comprehensive uh -huh. suit okay. yeah uh, so uh, the the prosa what you have shown yeah. uh, in that the green and the the dark green and the light green Usually, uh, the light green, sorry, the dark green has to be merged on the uh, lighter green. No? Then we can say our model is good. No, actually, uh, not light green and dark green. Actually, this one is a window. If yeah. the if the dark green part is lying like this region above that that window above that dark green part, so it means that these residues have some problematic structure. Okay, anything that they is above to... the threshold. Uh, we say that it is about 0.0. .0 then yeah, 0.0 is... .0 is the threshold. Above then 0.0, .0 if the uh, residue are lying. So it okay. means you have to do the minimization and you have to do other things. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So now we will go on the IRAT server. Okay. For that, saves is a complete suit. So here, if I will open IRAT, so it will redirect me to the saves version six. Okay, so here you can find a lot of tools. And now I will upload this structure. And then I will run the program. So now here, if I will click on erat, start and verify 3D, okay? And here there are many tools are there like crystal structure symmetry, pro check will generate the Ramachandran plot, and what check will generate some other information, and proof will generate volumes of atoms and other things. Okay. So now if I will click on here results, and if I will click on results, okay. So here you can see that the ERAT score is very less. So it means on the base of ERAT server, the structure is not good, the predicted structure is not good. Okay. So here we can see that okay the erat score also you can see that it has several red part and red part represents the problematic part okay red and yellow part represents that okay structure has uh, some problems in these 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 regions means local assignment of the atoms is not accurate so you have to minimize the structure and you have to do many other things but these part these 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 like uh, this uh, low color part actually uh, gray color part you can see this these part are the good so that's why the uh, score of the erat is also 66.67667 percent so it should be greater than 90 percent at least here also you can see good high resolution the structure generally produce around 95 percent and higher <coughs> okay so at least you have 90 percent and if uh, the structure is good if the template is good so you can have greater than 95%. So you have to work on these residues, like from here, 75 to 80 to 82 residues. This have some problematic part in the structure, okay? And this part is also have some problematic thing in this structure, okay? So this one is the ERAT server, and you can see the ERAT result. And now I will click on Verify 3D. So in the Verify 3D, you can see that 100% residues have average 3D 1D score. So if, if some residues don't have 1D or uh, 2D score means, so they will show some red type of colors, okay? 
they will show some uh, different type of colors here and then you can say that okay this 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 part don't have uh, this, this, this each part have a structure, uh, structural problematic part or you can say those things okay so these servers actually are not uh, exactly accurate because you can see that we have used prosa we have used erat and we have used their python and in the erat it is telling that okay your structure is not qualified but in the prosa we have seen that it is telling that okay you can use that structure in the uh, verify 3d also we we have seen that okay we can use that structure so always when you are working with the homology modeling ab initio r30 so always perform the molecular dynamic simulation this is a best and a very good method because you will see the good paper also so they <coughs> they perform the homology modeling before the docking and other thing and then they perform the clustering and other thing and after that get a best representative structure on the basis of free energy landscape also and minimum energy state structure so always use molecular dynamic simulation if you have facility if you don't have facility so use these servers two or three servers and then evaluate your evaluate your four or five predicted models and then proceed with those models okay there are many other servers are also available which can assess the stereochemical property of the protein but the you can see <coughs> this is just one snapshot of the structure okay what we are predicting but in the molecular dynamic simulation you can free you can leave the protein in the dynamic behavior and you can see that okay this is happening with the protein and it at least on the base of 5000 or 10000 conformation of the protein because protein always active in the dynamic environment okay and here we are not also adding water molecule ph and other things so you always uh, this is the better way to perform the molecular dynamic simulation and then select a best structure and you can uh, analyze the ramachandra graph at that structure okay so if you have any question regarding that so you can Okay, so I think there are no questions. Uh, we can start with one product, sir. Uh, okay. Okay. Hello. Good evening. Yes, yes. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tell yeah. Me. yeah. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, I have a question to this uh, regarding energy minimization. So, uh, I just wanted to know to what extent can we rely upon energy minimization to get amino acids to the favorable region? Means, is it the right criteria to take upon an energy minimization? No, no. Actually, can you repeat your question? What extent? Can you repeat your question? Actually, uh, I heard that you want to do the energy minimization, but actually, what is the essence of question? I cannot understand. <coughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, Hello, sir. Hello, Professor. Hello, Professor. Rohit, sir, one question, sir. Yes. 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 So in this verified 3D, there is pass yeah. PSS. Hello, Professor Rupan, sir. Can you repeat the question? So in this uh, verified 3D, yes, there is a word by name pass PSS. What does pass mean, sir? Passed means means uh, actually these are different type of servers and they assess the stereochemical parameters of the structure. Like uh, it is averaging the CD one D score. And if the score is greater than zero point two, means here the greater than zero point two is given. So it means the structure is passed on that uh, basis criteria. Okay. And if you want to read more about that method, so we have to read the uh, paper of verify three D. That okay? On which basis it is giving? It is assigning the score and what is the stereochemical parameter analysis? But generally, what uh, it is saying that okay, if the average three D one D score is greater than I equal to zero point two, so you can see in this figure that okay, this one is the approximate zero point two. So maximum residues are above than zero point two. So that's why it is showing that okay, a hundred percent of the residues have average three D one D score is greater than or equal to zero point two score. Okay, but I will again tell you that uh, don't believe any stereochemical parameter analysis because that was time of normal load analysis. 
So that time we have used because we don't have the facility of the molecular dynamic simulation, but now we have molecular dynamic simulation facility. So always when predict the model, always validate that model by using the molecular dynamic simulation because reviewer will always ask that you have assessed your uh, historic, uh, your model on the basis of these, these historical parameters, but why you have not done MDS before. So if you want to proceed for the docking, so firstly, do the molecular dynamic simulation and then get a stable structure and then proceed for the molecular dock. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. So is it clear? So we will proceed for the molecular dock. Yes, sir. Uh, Sudeep has sent in the uh, chat box, I think. Does energy minimization helps to get amino acids to favorable region in Ramchandran plant? Yeah, many times energy minimization uh, my time energy minimization works, but in the previous session, uh, we had one question from one ma'am that uh, who told that when I did the energy minimization, so the structure is more worst in terms of Ramachandra plants. But in the molecular dynamic simulation also, it, it do the energy minimization only and it regards all the frames. And then, so actually <coughs> concept of the protein is that that we want to predict 3D structure and it should be in its lower state. So that's why we do the energy minimization. So it is a ideal condition that if we are doing the energy minimization, so a structure should get more and more good Ramachandra plant. But in some cases, it cannot happen also. And why it cannot happen? Because you are predicting from some servers. They are not minimizing, or they are not uh, minimizing more than 100 times or 200 times. But when you are increasing the cycles of minimization, so they have packed some residues with the lower minimization. And when you minimized that structure, so that structure distorts its geometry or residue orientation or residue continuous. So that's why the Ramachandra plot get worse as compared to previous Ramachandra plot, which is uh, predicted by the predicted model. So this is the case, but ideally uh, the energy minimization should increase the Ramachandran blood value. Thank you, sir. That's well explained. 